What's going on? Josh from Colossus Fitness here, and today we're gonna to teach you how to do the kettlebell swing. So first things first, before we even talk about this movement, you have to be able to perform a hip hinge. So this is a test to see if you can do it. I know it looks super easy, but go ahead and try it. Have someone film you or film yourself, and if you can't do this, you shouldn't even attempt this movement. Uh, the reason it's a precursor is because it's a posterior chain exercise. It's all about that hinging of your hips, utilization of your glutes to generate that force, so you're not using your back in this movement. Now that you film yourself doing this test, this is what a pass looks like. Hips are coming all the way through, glutes are being able to extend, we're getting that thrust we need. This is a fail. If you filmed yourself or had a friend ask you to do this, if you're anything close to a fail, make sure you listen to this part of the video. If you're already passed, skip to this part of the video to get right to the kettlebell thrust. Now, for the hip hinge. The easiest way to learn how to hip hinge to get started, as you can see Kyle doing here, he's on his knees, it's a more natural movement, you don't bring the knees in. Common mistake is people try and bend with their knees uh, when they should actually be using their hips. So when you're kneeling, it takes away that part of the movement. So you can see here, Kyle's practicing ascension, going all the way through. Now we're taking it to the next level. I'm there behind him using a band to really teach him how to press against that band and lock out those glutes. So here we have him actually moving against it, learning to use those glutes. With this load, it's gonna force the correct movement, push that lockout in those hip flexors. Let's get it. Boom. Imagine you're, ah, imagine you're closing the door shut with your butt. It's the best way to hip hinge. And this is one of the final ways to just make sure you're doing it correctly if you don't have like anyone to help you. Just grab like a rod or anything like this. Obviously you don't want to use a barbell, that'd be too heavy. Make sure it's connecting on all parts of your posterior chain, from your head to your back and also to the glutes. So if you're just gonna do a squat, which is a lot of people, what they do for the hip hinge, it's gonna come off your head, it's gonna come off your uh, lower back, it's gonna come off your glutes. But you wanna make sure those three points are connected, you're pushing your hips back, like I said, making sure you're pretending that you're closing a car door with your butt and make sure everything is fully connected. That's a big test to make sure you're doing a proper hip hinge. Now right into the kettlebell swing. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab a kettlebell. If you don't have that, you can use a dumbbell. I'm not necessarily against it. Um, I do like this wider stance anyway. So when I go for my stance, if I'm too narrow, I'm not gonna be able to get anything in between my legs, right? So instead of having that wider stance, you can really allow yourself to hinge more naturally. So that's kind of the first step. You can use other things, you can use plates, you can use a lot. It doesn't have to be the kettlebell, but we do recommend the kettlebell, it's a cleaner grip. And you wanna grab the sucker tight, because if you let go, flies into a mirror, people at your gym aren't gonna like you. So the first step is actually learning just how to bring it behind you. So I'll have clients do this first. Give me a little baby one, back with your butt, squeeze your butt. Back with your butt, squeeze your butt. Super easy motion, but it's gonna cue me into this big motion here. Next big component, it's a neutral spine and retracting your scapula. If I'm like this, this is back weakness. I don't even wanna demonstrate. I'm gonna heave with my back, I'm gonna snap it. I'm gonna be out of the gym. I'm not gonna be able to make these sweet videos. So make sure to um, smash like for these uh, videos we make. We've got tons of how-tos. We've got a free form guide for you right in the description down below. Like 50 plus exercises, personal training in your pocket, how to do them all, completely free. Take advantage of that on us. So an easy way to retract that scapula, a little gentle roll of the shoulder. Gentle roll of the shoulder, bridging against those hips, so I'm gonna pull behind me, pass the little ones, proving as I go. Now I'm not using my shoulders, I'm using my butt. So bam, bam, bam. Squeezing all on those glutes. Extension for the glutes, car door, glutes. That's really about it. It's nice and easy. Uh, the big, big principle is just getting that hip hinge, but we're gonna show you three common mistakes that you might do, how to avoid them, and it will help you better understand this exercise. Another quick add-on, a little bonus for you guys, because this is once again gonna teach you the hinge, gonna teach you that movement, is uh, set a kettlebell a couple inches behind you, walk out about two to three inches forward, push the hips back, you've gotta really get that hip hinge to grab it, and then just perfect the movement. Boom, boom, reset. And common mistake number one is just going way too low. So as you can see there, my neutral spine is completely gone. I'm rounding my back. I'm using way too much lower back. I'm gonna get injured after doing this, especially with a decent load. So stay away from this. Obviously, you just have to go slightly below the knees, just down into here, not all the way down into here. That's how you get messed up. Number two is quite simple, is how high to go with the kettlebell. When I get a new client, I don't even wanna demonstrate because it's a heavy weight. Boom, they're up in the sky, you know? Uh, that's exactly what you wanna avoid. Uh, for me, you know, it's that little, you're getting that bend in the hips. The glutes will lock out about here. I'm not trying to lift with my arms. I'm trying to minimize their involvement in this lift. All about those glutes. Like as you can see me here, when I'm deadlifting, I'm struggling to get up to 606 pounds. I'm shaking out. You see right at the end that power I get from those hips? That's what we're trying to recreate here. Your glute is the biggest muscle in your body. Learn how to use it. So from here, this is that extension. I'm stopping just about shoulder level, so like you would a lateral raise. Squeezing in, controlling, keeping the movement fluid. 
It's gonna generate a lot of strength, you're gonna get stronger, you're gonna feel better, it's gonna improve your posture. That's number two. Now that you've already smashed that like button, make sure to subscribe. We're out here doing lots of tutorials. We have a playlist as well. That's gonna be probably the second or third link in the description. Uh, let us know also what other form videos you guys wanna see. And then mistake number three, adding on to what Josh was just saying, is actually not engaging your glutes. So this is a posterior chain exercise that's supposed to help with the lockout of the deadlift, strengthen your glutes, your hamstrings, the entire backside here. And I'll show you, because this actually does kind of look right, but it's in a way wrong. So I'm kind of like just doing this, you know, I'm going to shoulder height like Josh said, I'm bringing it back, my back is straight. But the difference between that and boom, boom, you know, Squeeze those glutes, it should be a nice fluent motion and the glutes, like Josh was saying, are so important and I see a lot of people within a lot of exercises like the deadlift and this is just really good practice just to really squeeze those glutes, carry over to so many different things. So a bonus mistake number four is hyperextension of the back. So a lot of times people think, because we always say squeeze the glutes, we always say to lock out. So a common mistake is a lot of people will pretty much go like this, but then they'll just lean all the way back. And it seems like very funny, but I see it happen way too often in the gym. So this is what the common mistake fully looks like after a couple reps. <clears throat> Stay away from doing this. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this and you know someone who does this wrong, share this with a friend, share it to your Facebook, get the good word out there. We appreciate you. We've got a whole form playlist, you know, we've got that free guide. Take advantage of all that stuff. There's so much great content in here. There'll be more videos to come. So be sure to subscribe. If you're looking for variants of this exercise, we have three amazing videos. We'll link in the first comment down below. We have the hip thrust with the barbell. We have the glute pull through. And I'll think of the, I think GHR is probably the other good one that would pair nicely mm -hmm. with this. So we'll link you everything there. You know, we want to take care of you. We're your uh, online personal trainers here. So if you're looking for coaching or anything like that, that's also in the description. There's so many goodies in there. Keep digging around, keep growing. Thanks for watching. Peace out.